morning, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, really glad to have an opportunity on behalf of the uh, Ministry of Economic Affairs and Communication to uh, say opening words for today's uh, Dutch Estonian industry seminar called uh, Power of Tomorrow. And I think uh, this power of tomorrow has actually two meanings, two different meanings. Uh, power in the meaning of uh, new emerging technologies uh, basis, uh, based on uh, renewable energies and also power in the meaning of uh, power of making decision today that has remarkable uh, effect on the next generation and the uh, quality of life. Um, if, uh, if we look back uh, to these two years, previous years, uh, and uh, two crises, COVID crisis and, uh, and today's uh, energy crisis. And uh, we can say that uh, all this crisis has uh, fastened and amplified global trends, uh, digitalization and uh, green transition. Uh, for example, uh, uh, during COVID crisis, uh, this digitalization was uh, uh, fastened uh, uh, really strongly and uh, our ICT sector was uh, boosted and had a really fast uh, growth. And, uh, and also our industry, if you look at our industry, uh, our industry uh, uh, digital digitalized uh, really fast. And uh, I think the main uh, uh, keywords, uh, if we think about two crises, is our industry and also including our uh, startup sector adaptivity to uh, change really fast to the situation in the economy. And, uh, and uh, as you know all that uh, during COVID crisis, uh, European Commission uh, decided to rewrite re uh, industrial policy and uh, committed to uh, leading uh, digital uh, green transition role, meaning that uh, uh, Commission set uh, a really ambitious goal uh, uh, to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. And uh, it was concrete uh, uh, response from Commission to COVID pandemic that was formalized uh, almost uh, uh, 750 billion euros that was combined with uh, financial instruments and also regulation. Uh, inclu including taxation, in order to nurture our industry, uh, corporates, uh, investors, and so on, to achieve this ambitious goal. And uh, I think it's very important to uh, think that uh, this green transition is not something that is uh, dictated by European Commission, and it's not something that we have to follow. Uh, I really, really like um, uh, our Prime Minister, response to this green deal. Uh, uh, that was that uh, Estonia has chosen to be a for front runner of green te technology, who is uh, developing and innovating and providing services. So it's a very clear message from our government and from our prime minister says that green transition is our opportunity. But uh, at the same time, we have to think that uh, it all uh, doesn't happen overnight and by itself. And that's why uh, uh, our government uh, has, a, has set really a concrete uh, roadmap and concrete goal uh, and, uh, and uh, set really ambitious uh, goal, which is to become world's top green tech center in the Europe and largest producer of green energy per capita. And uh, if uh, we look at uh, our industry value proposition, I think we are in a very good position. Estonia as a digital nation, uh, our good uh, digital transformation is, I think, very good enable for green transition. And uh, that very important uh, 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 keywords related to our industry uh, agility, uh, our flexibility, uh, to provide uh, tailor-made solutions. Also, Estonia has a really good uh, testbed for new technologies. We are fast. So uh, we have very good, uh, I think, very good prayer request for creating global uh, success stories here. 
And uh, I think uh, we can be very proud, uh, also uh, quite a few uh, leading technology providers in Estonia, uh, namely uh, Skeleton, who is uh, uh, providing uh, next generation batteries, and also Elkogen in hydrogen field. But uh, it's, uh, it's always a question uh, how uh, government has prioritized green transition in uh, its perspectives and also with funding. And uh, here I can see uh, or I can say and confirm our very solid commitment uh, that reflects in uh, foundation and reflects in different strategies. Uh, for instance, our Estonian competitiveness 2035, our R&D innovation and entrepreneurship strategy by 2035, our hydrogen uh, strategy, etc. And uh, when we talk about funding, then we have very solid base of funding for the next, uh, next years, starting with recovery plan, uh, just transition fund, and also our green technology innovation fund. So, uh, uh, to sum up, uh, I can say that uh, Estonia government has uh, packed uh, very well our technology, uh, technology sector and globally uh, successful technology sector. And I always uh, love to say, or I love the saying that uh, during the crisis or during the difficult times, uh, uh, pessimists always talk so much and have so many good ideas. But uh, in the end of the day, uh, uh, the, one, the ones who earn money are optimists. So I wish you a good and fruitful seminar for today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sheila.